Montgomery College rolled out the red carpet for the D.C. South Asian Film Festival on Rockville's campus. Producers, directors, and stars of the film presented throughout the three-day festival were all on hand for the opening night kickoff. We just come up with our own stories. We have our own equipment. We make our films. We try to better ourselves. We all have come to Montgomery College to take courses, learn a few things, gone back and tried to make films, and this is one of the products that we are showing. Well, I'm very excited because it's the DC premiere. Uh, the film has been shown in it's other parts of the US, Debra. but it's the first time it's come here. So I'm excited work. to see uh, what people think of it. It's only one hour long, so I hope people make the effort to come. This is the second year Montgomery College was host to this event, showing films in two locations on campus and conducting workshops and panel discussions for attendees. Montgomery County is known for its diversity. The college is known for its diversity. So this is another addition to their cultural diversity platform that uh, you know people learn about different cultures through films. If you look at movies that are being presented here, uh, they represent global issues and they offer a global solution to those issues. The film looks at how uh, rural landscapes in other parts of the world get are transformed by transnational migration, where a lot of the agricultural sector is collapsing and there are not a lot of jobs and opportunities. So what's left behind? So what happens to essentially a, a village in the absence of men? So that's kind of the themes that my film explores. The film is about Islamophobia and racism, in, not just in the USA, but around the world. In these trying times, when power seems to be the ultimate, Afrofidiac, we need more poetry, we need more art, we need more cinema. I mean, we need more people willing to speak to the power.